a great day. And this is a long time coming. We're excited about today, but today is only a part of what we're doing this entire year, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the John O. Wilson Neighborhood Center. We start out as a vision at the St. Phil's Baptist Church by Reverend John O. Wilson. 50 years, half a century, is certainly a long time, but many folks here today, it must seem like yesterday. When the Wilson Center began its effort in the basement of St. Philip's Baptist Church, under the leadership of Reverend John O. Wilson, a man has not yet stepped on the moon, the first Super Bowl had not yet been played, and Dr. Martin Luther King was still alive, continuing his work to achieve equality. <laughs> I took some time just this morning to talk to some of the elders in our family about John o. Wilson and the things that they reminded me of is that his focus was God first, family and community. And that shows here in the community that we have here together, that shows in the various people that we have in this community and how we work hard together to stay together, to take care of each other, to love each other. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly and Righteous Father, we were ever so grateful for this day that we all can bear witness to this occasion. I want to give thanks to you, Father God, for allowing our mayor, elected officials, and the board as well as family and friends to come out to dedicate this street to the Reverend John O. Wilson, a man that stood for righteousness, a man that was a beacon for hope, a man that helped join this community together a long time ago, and many of the community continue to stand here today and bear witness to it. Father, we're ever so grateful for this moment, and my prayer is that as we dedicate this sign and portion of Wilfred Avenue, that you may continue to bless, Father God, the board, bless the center, bless the street, as well as this community. Allow us to continue to carry on all the legacy in which Reverend Wilson have left with us. Allow us to reach after righteousness and allow us to see the hope that he stand for and allow the children to walk in peace and love. We give you, Father God, all the glory, all the righteousness. And it is in your name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Symbol. This is a great day for our community, isn't it? And we give God all the glory, honor, and praise. I am happy uh, to be a part of this great day as we recognize the fourth and longest serving pastor, the St. Phyllis Baptist Church, who extended the vision of the church beyond the sanctuary, beyond the basement, and now into the community. Ready? Let's do a countdown. Ready? Three, two, two one. Come on. It's such a celebration of a legacy, of history, of accomplishment, of leadership, of our family, and what our grandfather, John J. O. Wilson, Reverend J. O. Wilson has done in his lifetime, how he, as a, a man of leadership, a servant, he has put the community together with uh, his call to ministry. He has provided, along with the Mayor Rafferty and Uncle Poppy, Robert E. Wilson. It's a great day. I mean, the weather held off for us, and it's just showing, I think, the appreciation that the community has for my grandfather. So I'm just very happy that we're able to get together as a family and friends to basically uh, celebrate my grandfather's legacy. This is my grandson, Gabriel. I was about Gabriel's age when I got to meet my grandfather. And from then, he just grew into a giant. Great man. God, country, community, family. I mean, he blessed everybody in the community. The church blessed, he blessed. 
he's just one of those down south men that came up and just love, 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 humility, gratitude. And then he started this center with his son, Robert, Uncle Poppy Wilson. And it's been a lighthouse. I'm so glad that they finally um, gave homage to my grandfather by um, adding a street name and um, to show the appreciation of his uh, service that has gone on for 50 years. Um, he has a huge uh, legacy within our family and the love. Um, he was a humanitarian and a um, very dignified person with a humble heart and he did so much for this community. We're so proud and we're proud to be a part of it. I think that he was a great man and he did a lot for the community. It's been a pleasure and an honor to be able to be here today and see a sign named after my grandfather. I'm just thankful that God is still bestowing wonderful blessings on the Wilson family and he has shown us his grace and mercy. Um, I would like to say that my Aunt Maggie, she's the last one still living. She lives in um, Georgia. I know her heart wishes that she was here with us, but unfortunately she couldn't travel up here today. But um, I'm sure all of us will reach out to her and let her know that her father's name is on the corner, on the sign. God bless. Thank you.